everybody and we are back with the uh, testimony of Mr. Shawit and as you all know he's a liar not just any kind of liar but the worst kind of liar um, right now <laughs> we are trying to figure out what his lie was and Apparently, I'm not doing such a good job at it. I, I'm not exactly sure what his clue is. Or what his clue is supposed to be. A table clock. Was there a clock at the scene? I don't know. This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Okay. That must have been what I saw. But I can't... <sighs> okay, let's press him on that. Because I don't see how you could... I don't see how you that strikes me as very uh, strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. Yes, I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I'm really sorry. I only just remembered that table clock. A table clock? There is a table clock in the apartment wasn't there I don't know I mean that would mean how did you know <laughs> I can tell this is gonna be you keep saying you keep saying it's the clock okay I get that you keep saying it's a clock I, I I'm looking I because I don't think the weapon submitted as evidence by prosecutor Payne a statue in the shape of the th thinker it's rather heavy that's I mean that's really all we got there that's all we got to go on that's it the victim I mean I don't that must have been where I saw it now find the contradiction I don't know <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm stumped. I don't know. Um, I'm slightly confused. Um, what do we do? What do we do? There was a table clock in the apartment. Wasn't there? Okay, you said that. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Okay, yeah, we got that. That must have been what I saw. Now, find the contradiction. I've pointed out the contradiction like 500 times. Okay. Present. Uh, let's see. The blackout record, electricity, Mrs. Stone's building was out. If it was okay maybe it has something to do with the power because if the power is out then there's absolutely no way the table clock to work unless it was on batteries your honor what do you think about the witnesses statement I think we're wrong uh I'm not sure I follow 
it clearly uh, contradicts the, um, we're wrong, I thought, we're wrong, we're wrong, we're wrong. You don't sound very convinced, Mr. Wright. Objection overruled. We're going to lose. <laughs> I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Uh, well, you guys, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what to say. Uh, okay, well, uh, do, can we not just skip this one? Um, you keep talking about the, <laughs> you guys give me one second, I'm gonna go look it up, cause I don't know, I don't know. All right, you guys, we got it. I'm I'm not a dummy. We were doing it right, sorta. Uh, there was a table clock in the apartment. Okay, so pretty much you have to present it against a particular statement. Okay, so we weren't completely stupid. Well, I wasn't completely stupid. You had to present it against a a particular thing. Okay, so wasn't entirely wrong. Wait just a moment. <laughs> the murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? Good question. Why, well, you with your objections and your evidence just who do you think you are I'm Phoenix Wright detective attorney at law something up here <laughs> just answer the question Mr. Shawit hey I I saw it there okay that's a clock Your Honor, if I may... No, you may not. Shut up. Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. But that would mean that you would have had to have A, touched it, B, been in the apartment, and C, touched it. <laughs> as it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. Am I the only one else that noticed this? So the murder, murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Yes. Yes. Your Honor, There's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Shabam! Clearly a contradiction. Too shake it, sir. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he 
went into the apartment. Because I don't see him knowing the victim. You're lying. Lying? You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> we're making headway. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Ah, ballsy. He's getting ballsy. He knows, he knows things. You struck her with the clock. And then... Shook off the blow, triggered the clock's... Whoa. You struck her with the clock. And the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Everybody's like, oh, what, what's going on? He's, he's being preposterous. <laughs> Order in the court. Order in the court. Order. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. We shall. We shall continue. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Shawit. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Okay. Understandable. Since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That verse was voice was burned into your mind. That's why you are so certain about the time. Objection! Which I can see this to be an objection because it is kind of circum cir cir circumstantial. There we go. What's the meaning of this? This is an all baseless conjecture. I just said that, but in slow people's words. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> would the witness care to elaborate? No, the witness would not. Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I never... Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, saw, <laughs> these are weird fast noises, <laughs> he's balding, did I click on that, I don't think I clicked on that, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was him, I tell you. Okay. I kind of want to do the Mo Joe Jojo voice because that's what he reminds me of right now. But I'm not. He killed her. And he should burn. Burn. Give him death. Everybody's like, this guy is freaking out. <laughs> He's freaking out. Uh huh. Order. Order in the court. I say. Yes, you do, sir, with your lovely man beard. Your Honor, a, a moment, please. Look at him, he's sweating. Gross sweat. We already went over this, right? The sweat? I think we did. We went over the sweat thing. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Right? Mr. Wrong? No, I'm just kidding. Your Honor, you claim... You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Shaw had heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply...
try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I'm gonna touch a murder weapon. I ask the court to listen carefully. Beep. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Utter shock. Well, he is the thinker, after all. Ha <laughs> ha. Good play, Phoenix. Good play. Well, he is a thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Eck! Exactly. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Shawwit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Shawwit, who's freaking out with his baldiness, tried to talk your way out of this one. Ha! 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 You forgot one thing. Uh-oh. What's he talking about? While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder. If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Kind of true. It's true. He's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. We got this. We got this. Her passport, right? Because she got back a day the day before. So she didn't have time to change her clock. Well, or she didn't just do it. I don't know. It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Now we do. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you in indict the witness. Unfortunately, we we have stuff though, like this. Can we not? No, we can't. Can't. We can't do it. Can't do it. Don't do it, Judge. This is the cross examination of Mr. Frank Shawit. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. They treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You liars are all the all slime. Grr. I almost had him. Wait. Think. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. Hey. There's nothing I can do about it now. Sure you can, dude. Not so fast, Mr. Shawwit. Thank you, Maya. Everybody's like, boom, boom, boom. Maya, I mean chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. I already thought or thunk or whatever the word is but chief it's over I can't prove the clock 
will slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. I already know. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and... Think through it. Ask yourself. Why was the clock three hours slow? I already know, but apparently the rest of you don't. Apparently the rest of you are just slow. So, get out. Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be slow? This kind of um, this reminds me of Dora the Explorer. Yes, I can. Yes. Dot, dot, dot. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. We already know what it is. Well, Mr. Wright. You say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder? Have you found evidence to support this claim? Yes. Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the courtroom or court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. I was pretty sure he's gonna say a reasonable doubt, but whatever. Ha! tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. I mean, he even looks guilty er now. Let's see the evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. And we're gonna go to her passport. Yes. Present. Take that. All of that. Take it. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. Yes, she did. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow it was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you had heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Good deal, sir. Good deal. Proof enough for you, Mr. Shawit? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Oh, God. You lose points. I, can I take one of those exclamation points off? <laughs> we need to take one of those exclamation points off for that. <laughs> that hurt my throat. <sighs> He's foaming up the mouth. What the heck? Did he have a heart attack? This is gross. Why is he foaming? I don't like that. God's foaming. It's not natural. You shouldn't foam unless you have rabies. Order. Order, I say. Yes, say it to Claus. The Claus of Santa. Well. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. <laughs> Mr. Payne, your client, he, er, he was arrested and has been taken away, your honor. Very well. I don't see this as exactly how a court works. I don't think this is how it goes. Mr. Wright? 
Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. Yay, confetti, we did it, we did it, we did it, hooray, well, okay, yeah, we're done. <laughs> we did a good job, good job. And with that, the court is adjourned. Awesome. It turns out that Frank Shawit was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, we're now getting to watch. Do I have to click anything? When Larry went to her apart when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Shawlett let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Shaw would grab the nearest blunt object he could find. Unfortunate. It's gross. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant's Lobby, number 2. you. I still can't believe the we won. Me neither. Y'all apparently all a bunch of dumb sons. Of. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. The thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trail end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. She's she's giving you that eye. She's giving you that you wanna come back to my place and wiggly woo. I don't know what wiggly woo is, but <laughs> we can do that. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Dude, you won. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait, no. <laughs> I mean, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy, Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Harry. Oh. H Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Butts. That's going to be the title of this episode. Harry Butts. Harry Butts. Hey, um, thanks. I really owe you one. 
I won't forget this. Ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off. <sighs> Pardon me, everybody. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. Are you giving me the murder weapon? <laughs> a present? For me? Wait. Wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a m memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And, and she was just a plank. And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to just cry? Sob. Larry. Yeah. Are you so sure? Excuse me? Does anybody actually say that anymore? I think she... I think she taught you... She, I think she taught you quite... Thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing. Really? Isn't that right? Right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, yeah, right. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What the heck is she talking about? He doesn't either. Select your answer. Um, the clock? Take that. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Hmm. She probably just needed a clock. That's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Hmm? Well, make of it what you will. Dot. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, Hopefully, you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself.
Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never go. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Harry. You are saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him? Er, uh, yeah. Part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it some sometime. Maybe over drinks. And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have a friend. It's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay me. Unless you count the clock he gave my. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. All right, everybody, that is the end of this case file. And it seems that we are going to get ourselves into, um, something else. So, tune in next time and we'll see what happens to Mr. Wright and my. Bye, everybody.